Welcome to the Tesla Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today's July 30th, 2024. We've got a lot of exciting updates for you today, from ambitious plans for driverless taxis to some quirky charging hacks and a massive vehicle recall. Links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Elon Musk has made a bold statement about Tesla's future growth, emphasizing that the upcoming driverless taxi service, or robo-taxis, will be a key driver. He believes this could catapult Tesla's market valuation from around $740 billion to trillions. During a recent conference call discussing Tesla's second quarter results, Musk expressed confidence that the technology for these autonomous vehicles is nearly perfected and that regulatory approval is on the horizon. He envisions a system where Tesla owners can earn money by allowing their vehicles to operate as robo-taxis when not in use. However, experts remain skeptical about the feasibility and profitability of such a service, especially given the challenges faced by existing driverless taxi services like Waymo and Cruise. The success of Tesla's robo-taxi initiative will hinge on significant technological advancements and a shift in public perception regarding car ownership and usage. Additionally, Tesla will face stiff competition from established players in the autonomous driving space, including Waymo, Uber, Lyft, and various automotive and tech companies in China. The timeline for the rollout of Tesla's robotaxi service remains uncertain, as do the potential financial implications for the company. In other news, Tesla has urged its customers to stop using wet towels on supercharger handles to accelerate charging times, warning that this practice can damage the charging equipment. The company clarified that wrapping a wet cloth around the charger does not actually increase charging rates and can mislead temperature sensors, potentially leading to equipment failure. This response came after a claim by EV Media founder Kyle Connor who suggested that the wet rag method had been effective for years in reducing charge times by tricking the temperature sensors into allowing higher amperage. Connor noted that Tesla's charging systems have historically struggled with overheating, particularly in summer, and that the wet rag trick was a workaround for this issue. However, he acknowledged that Tesla may have recently updated its charging logic to counteract this method. Despite Tesla's warnings, Connor's tests indicated that the wet rag still provided some increase in charging speed, albeit with limitations. Critics, including Connor, argue that Tesla should focus on improving the design of its connectors to prevent overheating, rather than penalizing users for trying to mitigate the problem. The situation is further complicated by Tesla's recent layoffs of its supercharger team, which raises concerns about the company's commitment to enhancing its charging infrastructure. Overall, the debate highlights ongoing challenges with Tesla's supercharger technology and customer experiences. Tesla is recalling over 1.8 million vehicles in the US due to a software issue that may fail to detect an unlatched hood, which poses a risk of obstructing the driver's view and potentially causing accidents. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, reported that the recall affects certain Model 3, Model S, Model X, and Model Y vehicles manufactured between 2020 and 2024. Tesla has initiated an over-the-air software update to address the problem, which will alert drivers if the hood is open. The issue was first identified in March, when Tesla began investigating customer complaints in China regarding unprompted hood openings. Although fewer incidents were reported in North America and Europe, Tesla decided to issue the recall after conducting engineering studies. This recall is the largest for Tesla since December 2023, when it recalled nearly all of its vehicles in the US to enhance autopilot safeguards. The NHTSA has also opened a probe into Tesla following reports of crashes involving vehicles with the new autopilot update. Tesla's recent quarterly report indicated its lowest profit margin in over five years, highlighting challenges in reviving auto sales amid declining demand. Lastly, Tesla's construction of a unique supercharger, diner, and drive-in theater site in Los Angeles is nearing completion, with nearly nine months of work underway. The project, which began in September 2023, has shown significant progress, as documented by the YouTube channel 247 Tesla. The diner will feature a 1950s theme, complete with waiters on roller skates, 
and the ability to order food from vehicles. It will also include two drive-in movie screens showcasing classic films. Originally envisioned by CEO Elon Musk in 2018, the project faced delays but gained momentum after receiving necessary approvals. The location was shifted from Santa Monica to West Hollywood, and the diner is dubbed Milliways, inspired by a fictional restaurant from The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The site plans indicate that it will have around 32 charging stalls, allowing customers to dine while their vehicles charge. Recent updates show the construction site taking shape, with various stages of development captured in video updates. The diner aims to provide a unique experience for Tesla drivers, combining dining and entertainment with electric vehicle charging. As the project approaches completion, excitement builds for this innovative addition to the Tesla ecosystem. That's all for today's episode of the Tesla Daily News. We hope you found these updates as fascinating as we did. Don't forget to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we covered today. Join us again tomorrow for more news and insights into the world of Tesla and beyond. Stay charged and drive safe.